Hey there, how's it going my friends? My name is Andrew and welcome to my channel. This is um, my second video today. I'm going to do my Duolingo. I'm going to keep my streak up. I keep bumping into this. I need to move this somewhere where I'm not going to do that. There. Hopefully that'll work. Hello. Can you hear me again? Can you hear me? <clears throat> I can't do the Elmo right now. My, uh, I have like a weird phlegm chilling in the back of my throat. Weird phlegm chilling in the back of my throat. <coughs> okay, so we are gonna go to. I wanna do something new. We're gonna learn some activities. Actually, no. I wanna refresh some old stuff. We're gonna refresh school too. See, the, the thing that I like the most about Duolingo is I do remember it. Um,. So, like, when I come across something, like, I don't often come across the word regalo, but when I come across it, I know what the fuck regalo means. But, uh, uh so, so I like that. It is, it's kind of like, um, like, it's vocab and grammar, like, but fun, and, and you don't have to do it that frequently. Plus, when I, while I do kind of already have a basic understanding of grammar because of it, I'm able, I feel like I'm able to learn better in the Pimsleur. So I personally think that if you use Pimsleur and Duolingo like together, I personally think that it's very beneficial. Especially if you're the type of person that can just like go and bust through your, um, your tree. Maybe don't go bust through your tree. I say go up until like, for me, um, To the first checkpoint. Do to the first checkpoint. Make them gold because that's just that stuff is all very repetitive at that point. It's like you get um, you get intro phrases, travel, restaurant, family, shopping, school, people. Like um, you learn how to say store. So you got the tienda, mi familia, abuela, abuelo, hija, hijo, uh, hermana, hermano. Uh, uh, Mama, pa, papa, uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> uh, shit, what else is there? Oh, aeropuerto, um, la, la, la universidad, el, el restaurante, uh, yo soy, uh, soy, I don't fucking, I don't know. I don't know how to say, like, I'm having fun. Like, present tense. But yeah, like, build up that first checkpoint. And I feel like if you start them at the same time, like, if you start Pimsleur and, and these at the same time, I don't know how, like, closely they might line up and be, be beneficial. But I'm a little bit ahead of, like, I'm already going down my tree. Plus, I also took a test that kind of, like, buffed me up a little bit. So in certain places, I already have, like, like, where is it? Yeah, right here. Pass um, checkpoint five. I'm, I have one crown on all of these random-ass shit that, that I've never even done before. Like, I don't even know how I got that far. <laughs> but I did. Sorry, so let's actually do this. Um... Let's follow my actual guidelines and stay before checkpoint one. So we're going to do, let's do, you know what, let's finish up our school crown, get the fourth crown. Uh, where is my pen? Donde esta mi boligrafo? That's another word I know. Donde esta mi boligrafo? Wait, no, that's not how you spell Donde. Donde esta mi boligrafo? This exam is uh, easy. Facil. Este... Oh, shit. I can see... The, I, the thing... I wish that you could just put on... Um, I don't know. Maybe this is beneficial. But for Duolingo, it like asks you it in Spanish and in English. So it's, it's a whole thing. Uh, this exam is easy. Facil. Um, difficult is difícil. Uh... Uh, mi clase de España. No. Español, Tommy. Mi clase de Español. Mi 
clase de español. Uh, España es uh, Spain. En la escuela. En la escuela. In school. Or at the school. Or in the school. En la escuela. La maestro. El maestro. Maestra es la, la maestra. Maestro. ¿Dónde está mi bolígrafo? Bolígrafo. And it has you repeated enough that like, like, I feel like if I was three weeks, if I hadn't practiced on this in three weeks and someone was like, where's my pen? Just out of nowhere, I'd just be like, ¿Dónde está mi bolígrafo? Just, it, it, it's very repetitious. Un examen de español. Un examen de español. And once you get into like, like where they're actually saying full phrases, Un examen de español. like it sounds like a person read it. Un examen de español. Un examen de español. And they're, they're saying it quickly enough that you can kind of get, um, I don't know, acquainted with, with how, how they say things in the language. ¿Dónde está mi libro? Libro. It's a book. Mi maestro de español. My Spanish teacher. Wait, no. Mi maestro de español. Maestro de español. Muy fácil. Muy fácil. Very easy. Fácil is a word I need to work on. I don't think that if I was like, oh, this is easy, I'd be like, this is, este es... Facil? Maybe. I think I need to remember it difficile. Because difficile, facil. It's like, like it's easy and then it's difficult. Like, but it's not facil, it's difficile. But it's, it's still similar. Mi clase de español. Mi clase de español. Clase de español. Pon. Mi escuela. Mi escuela. Yo necesito un bolígrafo. Yo necesito un bolígrafo. Un bolígrafo. I need a pen. ¿Dónde está mi libro? ¿Dónde está mi libro? <coughs> that was really unattractive. I'm so sorry. ¿Dónde está mi libro? -da. I hit my goal. 24 days. 24 days straight. <laughs> Bam! I make sure I put I put it on the minimum so I don't feel like obligated to go and just like go ham. But I need to get my chest. That was a poor use of chests. God damn. Um. Oh fuck! In the Sapphire League, I've gone down to twenty four. Uh, fuck. Let's beef it up. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna power through this real quick. Put this down here so you're a little bit closer. Uh, 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 yo quiero, uh, yo quiero escribir, yo quiero escribir, 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 escri oh, fuck, I can't say it, escribir, escribir, yo quiero estudiar español, I want to Spanish, or I want to study Spanish, I want to study Spanish, yo, yo, yo quiero estudiar español, estudiar, to study Spanish. Spanish? I'm fucking dumb. Spanish. Un, un pregunt, un pre, una pregunta difícil. Una pregunta difícil. I think it's also kind of funny that at a certain point, saying un pregunta feels fucking off. So I'm like, un pre, un, un, una pregunta. There we go. A difficult problem. Difficult problem. Un, un entre, un pre, una pregunta interesante. Una pregunta interesante. Yo soy estudiante. Yo soy estudiante. Un estudiante. Un estudiante. 
Yo necesito leer. Un problema interesante. Un problema. Una. Un pro, una problema. Un problema interesante. Un problema interesante. Problema interesante. He saying problema. But he's saying un. I'm going to say una problema interesante. Because if that's problema, it should be una. What? Okay, apparently words that end in M-A are masculine. They are, um, they come from Greek and are masculine. So, uh, problema, telegrama, sistema, idioma, poema. Los problemas son masculinos, masculinos, y las soluciones son femen, fem, femeninas. That just means that the problems are masculine and the solutions are feminine. If that's accurate, that's fucking lit. Difficile, a difficult exam. Yo quiero leer en español. Yo quiero leer en español. I want to read in Spanish. Yo quiero estudiar. Yo quiero estudiar. Un problema interesante. Un problema interesante. Um, let's finish off this schooling. Hola, means hello. Yo escribo con mi maestro. Yo escribo con mi maestro. Excuse me. Ah. Oh, another correct solution. Uh, I thought it was telling me that I did it wrong. Yo escribo con mi maestra, if you have a female teacher. But, apparently, be based on Pimsleur, I could just say escribo con mi maestro. Maestro. Yo estudio aquí. Yo estudio aquí. I study here. Yeah. It just said, do you understand? I know it's asking me to write, uh, 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 or it says I do not understand. I know it's asking me to say, uh, uh, yo no comprendo, but I'm going to try uh, no entiendo and see what happens. No entiendo. Yes, it worked. It worked. That's awesome. Okay, it said, uh, it said another correct solution would be yo no comprendo. But when I realized that, I was like, wait, I didn't learn entiendo during this, so then I realized, I was like, oh shit, it's comprendo. I also feel like comprend uh, uh, entiendo is, is far more, or far less invasive than, or abrasive almost. Like, like, uh, like, for me, I could be like, yo no comprendo, like, to be like, like, I don't understand. Like, it feels very, like, like, finite, um, but like, when asking someone, like, like, do you understand? I don't want to be like, uh, comprendo? Like, like, that just feels very, like, 
accusatory almost to me. But entiende, it's like, it's like, uh, what would it be comprende? But either way, like, entiende is, uh, it seems a lot politer for me. At least just, like, this is not based on anything other than literally now knowing the two words and being able to compare them. Be, like, I like entiendo far more. But I like now knowing that I have two, two interchangeable words that, for me at least, have, um, a, like, a, a different-ish meaning. I'll have to talk to someone about that. Next one. Yo leo en español. Yo leo en español. I read in Spanish. Un poco. Un poco. Yo leo. It's so hard to like, because I, I don't want to say it in English as much, but it's hard to like say it in Spanish, but also write it in English. Yo leo en español. I can't do it. I read in Spanish. Uh, yo no, yo no entiendo español. I'm gonna just try no entiendo. No entiendo español. Yes! It's allowing me to like, to be a little bit like, simpler with it. Like where it's like, yo no comprendo español or yo no entiendo. I can just be like, no entiendo español. And I, I am slowly becoming more Spanish speaking. Knowing that I don't have to say yo in front of everything helps so much because I kept getting um, yo and you confused so I'd be like like um, uh, 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 like I'd say me and you but I'd be like me y yo and then I'd be like first of all that's not me that's my and then y yo is my and me or my and I my and I my and I what the fuck that's not even that doesn't even make sense but like I got sorry Yo leo mucho. I read a lot. That's actually a lie. I haven't read a book in a while. Yo escribo. Yo escribo mucho. Escribo. Escribo is... That's a hard word for me. It's uh, muy difícil. Yo no estudio español. Yo no estudio... En, wait. Yo no estudio... Yo no estudio. Yo no estudio español. I don't know if it was in español or just español. Yo tengo un examen importante. Importante. Yo leo mucho. Yo leo mucho. Nah. Un examen importante. Yo escribo mucho. Yo escribo mucho. Yo no entiendo la pregunta. Hmm. Why didn't I? I'm confused on why it didn't allow Entiendo on that one. Because I, I don't understand the question. Yo no entiendo la pregunta. But also, yo no pre. Like, it, it allowed Comprendo and entienda, Entiendo to be switched earlier, but not. Whatever. Yo tengo un examen importante. Yo tengo un examen importante. See, I think the issue that I'm, I'm discovering with, like, Duolingo is certain things, it'll allow you to be a little bit, like, explorative with it, but then other things, it's like, you have to say it this way. Like, for that. It's not, it doesn't give me any specific reason why I can't Use entiendo instead of comprendo on that one. Whatever. What's this one? 
yo no con, compre, no comprendo la pregunta. What the fuck? Comprendo. Aquí en Xbox comprendo, comprendo la pregunta. Comprendo la pregunta. It took me forever to spell those words. Pum, pum, pum. Oh my, are you kidding me? I still haven't gotten my fucking le level 4. Gotten a level 4 in schooling. Oh, I can't speak. Como te va? How's it going? What the fuck? How many ways is there of saying, like, how are you or how's it going? Because I know how's it going is que tal or como te va now. Is they is they it or va? Cause I think va is go. Like or go? I don't know. It's probably just some like like abbreviate like slang almost. Maybe who knows? Como te va? Or que tal? I like que tal. Hola, como te va, mi amigos? Hola, que tal, mi amigos? Hola, como te va? You know what? I don't fuck with Como Te Va. Ah, fuck, I don't know what the hell that was. Sorry. Mi computadora. Computadora. ¿Tú lees en español? ¿Tú lees en español? Do you read in Spanish? I spelled, excuse me, I spelled read like R-E-E-D. Do you read in Spanish? Uh, un poco. I actually read better in Spanish than I do, um, like, listening to it, because, like, when I'm listening right now, because there's so much that I don't know, I, like, listen for the words that I do know, and then I kind of go back, and I'm like, okay, put them together, like, I kind of, like, but then you've already missed the next part, so it's a lot of, like, active listening while actively thinking, so you're like, okay, this is happening right now, but I have to listen, to, like, think about these words real quick, what did this mean? So I was kind of able to translate a song almost because my mom heard, she thought the, the the singer was saying puto instead of punto. Um, I said that so white puto and punto. So like uh, she we, she didn't hear the n. And I've become more attuned to, to different pronunciations. So, uh, so I so I kind I was able to hear it and I was like no he's saying punto but I still have no idea what that means. But then, like, so I was just trying to figure out through context clues what punto meant. I couldn't figure it out, but I kind of understood, like, that the, the song was kind of telling a story, and there was, like, a, a push-pull between the guy and the girl where, like, like I want you, I don't want you, I love you, I don't love you kind of thing. It was an interesting thing. Uh, 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 Tú escribe, tú escribes uh, en la computadora. Tú escribes en la computadora. Tú escribes en la computadora. Sí. Yo estudio en la universidad. Yo estudio, no, I got sense English. I study in, or at the university. At the university. Yo estudio, yo estudio en la universidad. Eh, el profesor. El profesor. El profesor está aquí. Profesor está aquí. ¿Tú lees mucho? ¿Tú lees mucho? No. No, I said yo, not tú. I spelled the, I spelled the American, but because I have my... I spelled T-O instead of T-U, like an idiot, but then also because I have Spanish, um, a Spanish keyboard, it auto-corrected to yo, so now I said yo lees mucho. My grammar went out the fucking window. <laughs> tu estudias medicina? Estudias. Medicina, sí. Yo estudio en la universidad. Yo estudio en la universidad. Tú escribes en español. Tú escribes en español. Tú estudias mucho. 
tú estudias mucho. Eh, yes. Es... Uh, un poco más... I want to say like a little more than a little. So it's like un poco más... They say than. I don't know. Un poco más than un poco. That's the way. What? Tu estudias medicina. Yo necesito una computadora. Yo necesito... Computadora? Yo necesito una computadora. Una computadora. Compu I need to pay more attention. ¿Dónde está el profesor? ¿Dónde está el prof profesor? Where's the professor? ¿Dónde está el profesor? Tú lees mucho. I spelled it right this time. Do you read a lot? But uh, I got level four in school finally. I earned fifty gems. Lit. And I am now number sixteen. And if I do another one, I will bounce up to. Ooh, I'll bounce up to thirteen. Let's let's just do it. Let's do people now. We're going to do lesson one of um, level three. Lesson one of level three in people. See, I really do, I think there is a lot of benefit to this. If you if you can manage to, um, uh, ella es americana, ella es americana. I mean, I like the, um, the the uh, the spec the sp the spec bless you the specificness that Pimsler is going into, um, knowing that I could potentially be going to like Spain or like or or like somewhere else that isn't Mexico that speaks Spanish, and when you're saying you're American, like you could be talking about North America, Central America, South America, all of these things. So I like that it's um making it specifically making me learn that I am from North America, Norte Americano, in uh, the uh, uh, Estados Unidos, Arizona. Me llamo Julia. No, me llamo Andreu. Me, uh, my, no, damn it, I can't spell it. My name is, what? Me llamo, me llamo. When you say me instead of me, me amo instead of me amo, because they're the same thing apparently. Me amo, me amo. My name is Julia. Got the so thrown off by that one. You, oh yeah. Uh, soy, uh, soy, soy, uh, soy de la Estados Unidos. Soy. I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do yo soy. I'm gonna see if it allows. Soy de Estados. Estados Unidos. See, it works. Esta trabaja? Si, sí, esta trabaja. Does that, like, is that how you say it? Yes, it works. Because I know, like, like, trabaja is, like, a job working. So, me llamo Juan. Me llamo Juan. Uh, my name is Juan. Eh, es ella americana, es ella americana, americana, es ella americana, china. <laughs> That's so funny, it's like, it tells me how to spell China, it's like, spell China in Spanish, it's like, ch china. El es, oh, for, for those who don't know, china and china, it's spelled the same way. Just pronounced differently. El es americano. Americano. España. Yo soy de España. 
en España. Soy de España. Bruno es americano. Bruno es americano. Yo soy de China. What? Yo soy... Oh, yo soy de China. I was like, what's de China? It's like, I'm... I, <laughs> that's not... That's not a word. Yo soy de China. I... Yeah. Yo soy de... China. And uh, on this one, I'm not even going to try to just do Soy de China because I'm like, I'm supposed to type exactly what I hear. So if, if I fuck up, I fuck up. Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy, ah, lit. I don't have to say yo. Soy de Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Bruno es de España. Sara es Ameri Amer Americana. Couldn't spell that. Let's do another one. ¿Dónde está el hombre? Wait. ¿De dónde es el hombre? ¿De dónde es el hombre? Yeah. ¿De dónde es el hombre? ¿De dónde es el hombre? Where is the man from? Because donde esta is, is where is this, like if you said donde esta el hombre is where is the man, so you have to, uh, from where is the man. I don't know why, donde, oh, because I'm literally, donde, in de donde, I'm not, like it's not don and then de, it's two fucking words. So, from where is the man, instead of where is the man. De donde es el hombre? Yo vivo en Mexico. Yo vivo en Mexico. Oh my gosh, I hope so. One day, hopefully. Por favor. Yo, no. I live in Mexico. Yo vivo en Mexico. El y ella. El y ella. Ella, ella. Ella, ella. Yo vivo en Australia. Yo, wait. I live in... I don't know why I'm learning about Australia. See, that's what I kind of, like, don't understand is why I'm learning how to say, like, Australia. That makes no sense. China. Es España. That makes sense. Mexico makes sense. Norte Americano, Americana, Estados Unidos, maybe even uh, like Canada. Is that how you say Canada? Canada, or or you add like the the wavy n, Canada. <laughs> Canada, it's like a penny. Canada, Nio, Nio, Canada. Oh, I hope it's Canada. I'm gonna start saying Kenyatta instead. Anyway, it does not matter. <laughs> I'm gonna quit. Me amo. Me llamo. Me llamo. What? Oh, fuck. It's mi nombre. Bruno es estudiante. Bruno is a student. Bruno es estudiante. El estudiante. Estudiante. Uh. Mi nombre es Carmen. Carmen. Mi nombre es Carmen. Yo vivo en Boston. Yo, yo vivo en Boston. Yo vivo en Boston. Yo no vivo en Boston. Yo vivo en Mesa. <laughs> I think that's the fun thing, that, at least that I find with Duolingo, is I can turn it into a conversation when he's like, Yo vivo en Boston. And then I have to say, Yo vivo en Boston. And it's like, No. Yo vivo en Mesa. Not la Mesa. En Mesa. Mesa la Pueblo.
I don't know how to say furniture. But the town, not the furniture. La ciudad. It's not really a city. I wouldn't call Mesa a city. It's like a town. It's like a little, it's like a little, like a little, 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 little town. And then there's, there's Tempe. It's, it's more, it's like a, uh, la, 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 uh, el pueblo de universidad. Or, or, El pueblo de, de universidad. It's a college town, basically. Uh, ¿De dónde es Pedro? ¿De dónde es Pedro? Es mi nombre. Es mi nombre. It's my name. Él es estudiante. Él es estudiante. Wait. Estudiante. That's a lot of él es estudiante. The alliteration. Oh, he asked a question. Él es estudiante. Oh, I didn't hear the estudiante. A little rise at the end. De dónde eres? Juan. De, de dónde eres, Juan? Where is Juan? Where are you from, Juan? De dónde eres, Juan? I can never tell when you're supposed to like say de dónde eres or like or like. Like eres or son or you know, de donde eres. I think it's depending on like the context of like are you talking about a, a person, a place, or a thing. De donde eres, Juan. What? Sorry. I have literally no fucking clue what it is. I thought you were saying like one word, tuyel. It's tuyel. Tuy. I'm literally tuyel. Tuyel. I'm saying just like how he's saying it. Tuyel. Now I hear it. Uh, 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 you and you and him. You and him. Tuyel. Tuyel. Mi 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 nombre. Mi nombre. Oh. above the like the zone I've got I'm so close to being above the 10 I just I want to make it into the next league because the next league is like the highest league I've made it to sapphire I got into bronze and um in one of bronze or silver I, I, I got to like the top spot and I got a fuck ton of um of little uh like what are they called the, the gems it's gems on your on the app but then it's lingots in in uh, uh, not in not a gem, or in in the, on the fucking Jesus Christ in la computadora. I can fucking probably speak Spanish better. <laughs> Oof. I had my feet like up, and I could like when I came back, I smelled my feet. That was weird. <laughs> That's such an odd thing to mention. Okay. Um. No, I I need to. Sorry, I need to get to the top. I need to get to the top. It's like, this is what I think when, like, Spanish becomes fun, and now that I'm not just doing Duolingo solely to learn, and there, and I'm mixing it up a little bit, this is when it becomes um, more of a game. And that's what the first two weeks for me of Duolingo was. It was like, it's a game! And I was just going and trying to get the highest score and stuff, but I was also not, like, I was just, like, going down the tree instead of like sticking to one thing and really drilling that into my mind because I feel like once you get to level five like if I go to shit, I'm, I'm literally I'm gonna go to the first one to intro this is gonna be so fucking easy I'm like not even looking forward to it but this is one of my gold star ones uh, how do you say bread pan oh and it's all like oh multiple choice ew 
Yo bebo, le yo bebo agua. No, yo bebo agua. See, I hate, I hate the, uh, the multiple choice because I can accidentally select one just because I think I'm going fast. Um, el, no. Oh, fuck, I fucked one up. El, I hate these multiple choice ones. This is gross. Niña, niño, yo, manzana. Um, yo bebo, tu bebe, el, bueno, tu bebes, el bebe. Yo bebo, tu bebes, el bebe. I eat apples. I literally want to kill myself. No, I'm not. Okay. Joke. Bad joke. Take it back. Uh, well, I can't take it back. I move forward. Bad joke. My bad. Um, straight up. I wish I could just... Uh, fucking... Tu comes manzanas. Let me fucking write it. <sighs> the man drinks water. I didn't know how much it was actually going to frustrate me. This is almost more difficult than the ones I'm working on. Yo bebo agua. It auto-corrected to aquí. I'm fucking done. He eats apples. Oh my gosh. I just got a head rush. I can't spell apples. Fuck. Juan come manzanas. Juan... Come manzanas. Yo como pan. I eat bread. Yo como pan. <laughs> Todo. Ah, head rush. <laughs> yo como. Tu comes. No, yo como. Tu comes. El come. Tu comes pan. Tu comes pan. Comes. I hate this multiple choice shit. Yo bebo leche. When I can type it, I feel good. La mujer bebe agua. La mujer bebe agua. The woman drinks water. Tu bebes agua. Tu bebes agua. You drink water. Spell it right. I don't want it to autocorrect to aquí. I think I, I did aqua. La mujer bebe agua. Wait. La mujer bebe agua. La mujer Bebe agua. Tu bebes agua. Tu bebes agua. Juan come pan. Juan come pan. Juan come pan. Tu comes pan. Tu comes pan. Yo bebo agua. Never doing that again. Never doing that again. Holy shit. Como te llamas? El es cubano, el es cubano. Boom. Pedro es mexicano. Pedro is Mexican. Pedro es mexicano. Uh, I'm gonna try something. It says, "Are you Mexican?" I'm gonna try using something I learned on Pimsleur. Es usted mexicano? Ya lo mexicano. Es usted mexicano? Please work, please work. Oh, it works. You can also do eres, eres mexicano. Es usted, eres. I feel it. So I guess eres mexicano is less formal. Eres Mexicano? Cuba is interesting. Cuba is interesting. Pedro es cubano. Cubano. What? I spelled it. I did it wrong and I don't know what I got wrong. La. Oh, the, did I spell it in Spanish but I'm supposed to spell it in English? God damn it. The girl. Is Cuban. Pulia es interesante. Interesante. Juan es cubano. Juan es cubano. Pom, pom. 
Carmen es de México, México. Cuba es interesante. Cuba es interesante. Él es mexicano. Él es mexicano. Ella es de México. Ella es de México. She's from Mexico. I feel like I should be proving that I know what I'm saying. Ella es cubana. She is Cuban. Ella es cubana. María es mexicana. María es mexicana. Pedro es cubano. Pedro es cubano. That's the one that I got wrong. I don't know how I messed that one up. Because it was supposed to be written in Spanish. Maybe I wrote it in English. Oh, I would do like two more and then I'll finally be like in the promotion zone. I have a few days to catch up. Let me see how many exact. I have four days, two hours, five minutes. So I think I'll be good. I think I kind of want to be a little bit open on this channel about something that I, that, that is, I mean, I, it's, it's not a huge part of my life, but it's, it's, Something that I, it helps me not be so stressed out when learn, like when focused on, on the language side of things, and it's something that I currently, like, for the past hour I've been, like, avoiding trying to do, but, like, now I'm, like, at this point, like, does it matter? It's, it's, like become like fully recreationally legal in in many states and it's be it's already medicinally legal in in most states I think and then it, it's definitely medicinally legal in the state that I'm in but also like it's gonna be on the ballot for recreational legalization soon um, in 2020 so I think with that being said you guys kind of assume what I'm talking about ah! Um, cannabis. I consume cannabis. It helps with my anxiety, um, and anger management, and, and, uh, I have, like, mild OCD. It was pretty bad for a while. Um, I don't really want to talk about why, because it's, it's weird. It was, it was like, it felt like a personal tragedy, tragedy, but it really didn't affect me at all, except in the fact that it gave me really bad OCD, something that I'm still working with. It's been a couple years now. Um, something I've had to work on by myself, but it was because it was, a, like, when it, like, the way it happened, it, um, like, my triggers became very, like, noticeable, like, I knew that my life was being affected by it, so I was able to recognize, like, oh, this is OCD, we need to fix this, and I've been taking care of it ever since. Um, some, like, the, the tics that I have is, like, I literally feel like some like I could like I feel like I'm gonna get into a car accident or I'm gonna die or something bad is gonna happen if I don't get the receipt um, uh, if or if I don't press yes like when it asks if you want a receipt at a gas pump um, uh, I used to work at Burger King and I used to have to do a ritual with making the like the the fries like putting the fry in the fry box I had like a whole ritual for that um, I, I didn't feel like anything bad was gonna happen but like but like I felt wrong if I didn't do it, and, like, if I did it without doing the ritual, I had to dump out the fry, do the ritual, and then go. It was, it got bad, um, to the point where I got, like, I just got really fast, and I would do my ritual, like, before anything was needed, and I did it, and it was ridiculous, but now I'm to the point where, I, I mean, I don't work at Burger King anymore, so I don't have that ritual, but the, uh, um, the gas station thing, that's one that I'm still struggling with. What the fuck? Someone is running upstairs. I mean, I guess that's enough about me. I'm just going to consume this cannabis. If you do not want to see me consume cannabis, then, um, well, first of all, uh, I totally understand. That's completely respectable. But also, I want it to be known that, like, I don't want any judgment passed on me for this. I will block you, because I just literally don't have time for it. So I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna argue about it. I feel like I'm putting my myself out here right now, trying to be open to you. And if you can't accept that openness, then 
like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with you because I know for a fact that this has done done nothing but good for me. Uh, well, there have been some negatives, but I've also honed in on what those negatives are and what caused those negatives and how to prevent those from being a factor in the future. Furthermore, um, like I said, if, if you don't wish to see that, have a great day. But also, I, I hope you'll be open to it because I want to in the future be able to just kind of consume without, like, real working with it. And I think the best way to explain it is, like, for me, when I moved back to Arizona, I found out that my mom had been smoking weed for a long time. Um, and she kind of, like, looked at me and she was like, do you want to hit of this? And I had smoked weed in the past, but never with her. And I didn't, like, she knew that I had, but, I, like, I still had sort of, like, weird, like, preconceived, like, like notions of, like, this is a this is a lazy slacker drug and all these other things. Even though my mom was doing better than she'd ever done been, like, she was... Like, she had lost a lot of weight. She was working again. It was a whole thing. But there was this moment where I sat there, and I was, like, kind of judging her. And then she kind of, like, like silently judging her and just, like, oh, she's smoking weed. Like, what a child. And then she kind of, like, and, I mean, it, I, I've never told her this. So if she sees this, sorry, Mom. It's, it was, like, I don't know. I was, like, a little shit. But then, like, I was, like, I had this moment of, like, I can say no in this moment. And continue to judge her and be a dick about it even though I know that there are medical benefits to it like it was just it was stupid um like stereotypes that I was like that I still had about it um and I was like you know what Ye I need to get over my own shit and I was like yeah give me a hit of that so without further ado we're gonna smoke, smoke weed I mean I'm not trying to make an event out of this it's literally I'm, I'm gonna smoke out of a pipe and probably cough maybe cut the cut the camera before I cough but I just I want to be out there and open kind of like with how um like I uh, like I'm part of the, the the queer community I don't want people to discover it about me and be like you lied about it you're a liar it's like no not a liar and just kind of didn't want to express it fully because I mean considering this is mainly a language about, or, or a channel about me pursuing a language, and, like, it's not really going to be just about me learning a language. This, like I said, it, like, it says, I think it says five-year documentary as, like, the title for the, for the, uh, um, like, the page, for the, the YouTube channel, and I want to pursue that still. I'm just kind of posting things here as just, like, to chronicle them, so that I have, like, a, a just an online catalog of, Of what I've done, I guess. So, uh, like, now I feel like I have built it up, and I almost don't want to do. Like, I don't think I'm gonna do it on camera. I'm gonna, okay, I'll be. This makes me feel like a fiend. I feel dirty now. <coughs> um, it's my brother's birthday today. That's cool. <coughs> Man, I wish my my siblings like actually gave a shit about wanting to learn language. My mom, she wants to, but she literally has no space on her phone to download any apps. Um, like like Duolingo. She I she doesn't want to do it like. Um. Like she doesn't want to do the Pimsleur type thing. She wants to do Duolingo because, like, we've seen that it works, even if it is slower than normal. But considering that I am progressing and it allows me to like help her, it's it, it it helps in in that sense because then I'm helping her with things that I'm learning, and and because I'm like learning at the pace that I'm learning, like even if she misses something, I can kind of like. Like, eventually, like, it'll come up and we'll, you know, it's just one of those things. But, yeah, she only has enough room right now for Pokemon Go and Candy Crush. I was like, but, Mom, but, Mom, I understand Pokemon Go, but, yeah, Candy Crush. Instead of Candy Crush, play Duolingo. Beat my score in Duolingo. Because that, that's literally, like, I will, like, be on Duolingo forever just to, like, beat my mom's score. Um, I have other friends 
the, unfortunately on the mobile app you can't go to your friends and see like what their daily scores are but I like to um, like go through and see what my friends daily scores are damn okay I got this one friend that she is currently learning I'm going to assume German because it looks like it's at the top of her list but German and Spanish she got an 80 day streak this is like an actual friend that I have I feel like she's been on, on an 80 day streak for a minute though. Is she just like streak freezing all day? Like, whatever you gotta do. I did, I used one streak freeze. Mainly because I was like, I like, I had a long day and I just went home and crashed. And that's like been the start of me waking up consistently before 8 o'clock, which I'm loving. So I was like, not gonna punish myself for that. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna use a streak freeze right now. We're going to fix this streak. So, yeah, I'd, um, but she looks like her, like, she's gone up a lot. Um, but I also like focusing, I, I want to... Look at these. These are the, the languages that I currently have in my in my list that I want to learn. Can you see those? Now I'm getting a notification from YouTube. Wait, what is the notification? Doesn't matter. I don't care. I checked and I do not care. We've got Spanish, Norwegian, Hindi, and German. And I'm thinking that might be the order I go. Except I don't know anyone who speaks Norwegian, but I do know people who speak Hindi. So, there's kind of, but I think I might actually know a larger portion of people who speak Arabic. Is Arabic an option? I want there to be a Duolingo option for it. Um, Portuguese. Portuguese. They do have Arabic. Is Arabic new? I think they just added Arabic. Holy shit. I'm going to add Arabic to my to my course. I am 100% new to Arabic. No, 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 I'm not actually going to start it, but yes. So I've added Arabic to, to, my, to my courses. Huh. That's so fun. I realize I'm actually coming up on an hour here. But yeah, I still have all this time to figure out what I'm going to learn. I think I'm going to go full on only Spanish for at least until, um, because Dia de los Muertos is, what the fuck is happening? I don't know how to say it's, um, near the, oh, near, how do you say near? Um, near is... I learned this one yesterday on Duolingo. Repetition, man. Repetition. Eventually, I'll know. But, um, since uh, Dia de los Muertos is, is close to the end of the year, I might just focus specifically from now until, well, I mean, I, basically three weeks ago. From then until now, till then, the, the first of the year, I might just go full ham on on Spanish because then it allows me to gain gain like to 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 get to the, the to, to Day of the Dead. Then I'll, I'm 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 sure I'll meet people there that eventually I hopefully I'll meet people there that I want to continue learning from and talking to and experiencing life. Um, from that person's perspective in a way that I'll then expand my my own knowledge of the language even further over the next two months after that and then on the first of the year I will start another language so I gotta figure out by the first of the month what language that I want to be there's so many of them like and and it's I, I you want to form the one that has the most meaning to you, and 
as much as Norwegian has the 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 meaning of like like I what is it? It has the meaning of like like it's my my like my ancestor like my true mother tongue like my, my ancestor's mother tongue. It may, that's like kind of thing, but I don't really have any connection to like Norwegian pop culture or culture in general. So I just don't see myself being like that into learning it. Like even when I like tried to check it out, I was just like, ah, this is fun. I know like, I know like one word. I can remember one word, but I don't know what it means. It's, it's either boy, girl, man, or woman. It's one of those, but it's like, it's henter. But I don't even know how to pronounce it either. Like, if the same word was in, in Spanish, I'd be like, oh yeah, I can pronounce that easily. Like, I'm at a point in Spanish where, like, my pronunciation may not be, like, fully, like, with a, with a, like, a Mexican accent. But uh, I know my pronunciation is not like, hola, hablo espanol. God, that'd be bad. Hola, hablo espanol. Maybe, maybe it is a little bit like that, but not, not as much. Not as much. I feel like I'm just talking now to talk. That's kind of what these videos become for me. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I should probably end this, though. That was day 24 of my Duolingo streak con continuation. I think that's enough. Okay, real. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Give me a second. very confident saying that I'm going to practice Spanish until the first of the year and then start a new language and then I feel very confident that I'm going to <coughs> continue to learn another language. Just in the, the fact of everything else that I've ever tried to like pick up and like grow as like a hobby has always been something to do for some sort of gain that wasn't like it was personal game, but it wasn't like, like there was no personal growth to be had. Like there was a lot of like gain, like monetary gain, but no personal gain. Like I wanted, I, I still want to. I want to learn how to um, uh, sew and make clothes, and I, I learned how to embroider. That's fun, but it's not something that I continued to pursue because I got what I wanted out of it almost, like. Well, not really. Like, I wanted, like, there were there were two goals. It was, I want to learn to do this, and then I want to be able to monetize it. I want to be able to sell it. So I was, like, embroidering, embroidering things. But I got to the, like, learning how to do it, and then I was, like, I like doing it, but I don't love doing it. So, like, I'm not going to pursue it anymore because I, like, I'm not going to try to make money off something that I don't actually give a shit about. Um, and then I think, like, I get, like, very into, like, watching Gary V at, or Amy Landino and and trying to, like, better myself, like, through spiritual things, like meditation and all these other things. And while I do love meditation, and I, I should be doing it more because it genuinely does have, like, a profound effect on me when I do it actively, and I haven't in a while, I should probably start doing that. I say it, and I, like, I don't think I'm going to do it. Well, I feel like I meditate every day. I think that might be my issue, is I consider meditation, like, sometimes I only consider it meditating if I've done it on Duolingo, and then I have to remind myself, like, no. Any time that I stop and go... Is like like there. I literally just meditated. It wasn't long, but it was enough to kind of like center myself in this moment. Realize that like I'm still here. I'm still in front of a camera. I'm still in my bedroom. I'm still doing all this. My cat's toe is on top of the Xbox controller that could literally fucking destroy everything connected to my computer. I should actually just 
<laughs> Unplug. That was simple. And now I have a free USB port. I don't know. I, just, I think I, I, I'm like addicted to fads. But the things that I come back to after like after like some time when I come back to something, I feel like I have a new passion for it because it's like I've already tried it. I already know that it's something I do like doing. Now I just got to love it and not do it for any other reason. Initially, I wanted to learn Spanish um, just because someone else was doing it. And then when I started learning stuff, I was like, oh, this is fun. Like, I'm learning something. This is cool. But that was like a while ago. That was... Um, I know I think I said in a video that Evan Edinger was like the person who introduced me to Duolingo. He reintroduced me to it. I had already created an account when my friend uh, Marcus... In, sorry, I'm scratching like a, a scab. Give me a second. This is all I... Uh, yeah, let me just scratch in my face. It just really itches. Genuinely. Okay. Sorry. Um, my friend Marcus, he was like, hey dude, I'm learning Italian. Like, you should download this app and learn Italian too. And I downloaded it and I see all the languages and I'm like, whoa. And he's like, dude, dude, start learning Italian. It's great. And I'm like, okay. Started learning Spanish instead. And he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, uh, I can't remember anything. I don't remember any of the shit that he said in Italian except for like, ciao. But like, he said hello and I was like, hola. And he's like, no, 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 in Italian. And I was like, hola. And he was like, you like, he just knew, he was like, you bitch, you started speaking in Spanish? And I was like, bro, Spanish has practical usage. Like, because I was living with him at the time, him and his family, um, and his mom, uh, 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 she speaks fluent Spanish and English. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to learn to speak Spanish. I have someone in the house that could correct me when I'm wrong. It's going to be great. And then I just got bored of it. I just got bored. And it was back in the day when, like, I think Duolingo was still, like, awesome and fun and shit, but, like, it's gotten so much better. Like, just from, like, personal ex Like, I don't really have personal experience because I did it for, like, a day. But then, uh, 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 I started, like, when, when Evan Edinger, like, first made his, like, um, two years on Duolingo fluent in German thing, I was like, wow, this is awesome. I got it then. And I don't know how far I, I went learning the language then, but I yet again kind of was like, eh. Like, I didn't continue to, to pursue it. And then I started dating this... Wait, was that at the same time? I See, now I'm starting to forget when things happened. But I don't know. But regardless, um, now I'm at the point where it's like, there are all of these different reasons why I want to learn this language and now just all of this stuff is like, like it's pointing me in, in the direction of like, you need to learn Spanish, you need to learn Spanish. Not because you need to make money, but because you need to make connection. That, and that alone, that one sole thing alone of like this desire to connect with these people that, and I think it's more because I like, like, if I was surrounded by Norwegian people all the time, I feel like probably then I'd be like, oh my god, I need to learn Norwegian. But I'm, because I'm literally surrounded by people who are speaking Spanish at all times, and it's just like, I'm missing everything. Like, and that's what it, like, feels like. Like, even though you're missing a sentence, and it could be as simple as, like, where are the keys? I don't know how to say where are the keys. Donde esta la key? Uh, or el key. <laughs> no, la key sounds better. La key. I don't know what that was. <coughs> um, it's weird when I say la key, I I'm like thinking in Spanish. So the way that I spelled key was K I. Just thought that was interesting. Thought I'd bring that up. Look at that cat being all cute in the background. Oh, he's so sweet. He's a little boy. I like him. I'm actually getting tired now. I'm just like talking. Uh, I'm kind of using this as, as a practice as well. Like, 
in the moments that I, like, do understand a word, or understand, like, the sentence that I'm about to say, I'll be like, oh, yeah, excuse me, I'm going to say that in Spanish, or do the best that I can. That last tip kind of hit me hard. The cannabis. Look at that kitty in the background. He's being so sweet. I love him. Is there really anything else to say? I don't think there is. I'm so sorry these videos are so long. Like, I'm not really apologizing to any viewers that come and watch these, because if you stayed around, that's your own fault. I'm more apologizing to myself in the future when I have to go through these and try to find anything worth, um including in, in a documentary of, like, because I want to do, like, a documentary of, like, my Spanish learning process, but then also, um, the, like, a full documentary of just language learning once I speak, like, because I'm going to, I want to do a five-year documentary starting, like, five years from basically 2019, or maybe 2020, we'll do 2025, because in 2025, I will be 30. Most of my friends will be 30. Um, it's just a nice round number. And hopefully by then, considering that fluency doesn't take long, especially in the right um, environment, I'm hoping by then to have at least at least five languages, including the one that I already know. So English plus Spanish plus two others, three others, three others, yeah. Honestly, I really just like talking on camera. Like, you know what? I honestly don't care. I'm gonna do some more Duolingo. I'm like really just chilling here. I'm vibing. You no, know I actually no. There's so much more that I could be doing. Yo, actually, hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this so that I can go to another thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another video today, I'm so sorry, but we're going to go and I'm going to find, my, I'm going to make a playlist of like my favorite um, uh, uh, Mexican music. I already have started one from like when I'm listening to music in the car and I'm like, hey mom, put that in a playlist. And it's a Musica de Mexico, Musica de Mexico, except for uh, there's some songs that are not from Mexico, they're, they're, uh, they're exports, American exports into this playlist. So let's, let, I'm going to stop this. See you later. Adios. Adios amigos. Hasta nunca.